a delight to have you applauding the moon tonight. Welcome, of course, to Griffith Observatory. Everyone who spent like 20 minutes driving up got turned away by police. <laughs> my buddy Terrence. <laughs> we're walking, we're smarter. We are just a couple minutes from totality on this 14, 15 income tax day total eclipse of the moon. I think we're gonna walk up the hill. Let's do it. Now, the eclipse in antiquity was thought to have been caused by a demon or a monster or a dragon that was devouring the moon. And when the moon was totally eclipsed, it would turn red because all of the world's sunrises and sunsets were having their light bent onto the dark surface of the moon. But for now at least, I simply want to welcome you to the observatory and to the eclipse of the moon as well as Mars, which is at its closest approach on this particular round of the sun. You can see Mars just up above the moon right now. There's a star right to the right of the moon, close, that spike up. Low over the observatory to the left, the planet Saturn. So there's all kinds of stuff going on. I think I need to hear the growing roar of the crowd. At Griffith Observatory, we feel it's important to fulfill the ancient responsibility. And so about an hour and 15 minutes from now, I shall return to perform the official duties of the person who must, in fact, with assistance, that means all of you, make noise to chase the dragon away. So the director of Griffith Observatory was describing an interpretation of the lunar eclipse being a dragon swallowing the moon. Ancient man believed the world was a spirit. Therefore, everything they experienced had a personality. If you ever seen the show Vikings, anytime there was lightning, all the characters would freak out and believe their god Thor was unhappy with something they did on Earth. But modern man sees the world from a scientific perspective. Events and experiences are not the result of a spirit with a personality, but an impersonal natural force. Unlike ancient man, we know that lightning occurs when static electricity builds between Earth and a cloud, positive and negative charges grow to a certain point, and shit goes bonkers, and then a spark occurs. Lightning. So modern conspiracy theories such as the blood, moon, apocalypse, or whatever, are obviously derived from the ancient view of the world. More specifically, the world isn't a spirit, but is influenced by a spirit, such as God, Satan, aliens, unicorns, Heisenberg. An extremely important phrase in science and statistics is that correlation does not equal causation. There are many people who believe that when there's a full moon, murder and suicide rates increase. Well, there are many studies that have shown no reliable correlation between murder rates and the presence of a full moon. And those studies have used a reliable system to understand reality, which is called the scientific method and control groups. I'm too lazy to explain what that exactly is, but if you've taken a high school science course, you know what's up. Anyway, if you found some of this information interesting, you gotta check out some of my other videos. I have this controversial film analysis of the movie Prometheus, where I've received thousands of comments from pissed off people who believe I'm presenting scientific and alternate history theories on why Ridley Scott's movie is the bomb. It's just a film art analysis. Like I mentioned earlier in science and statistics, correlation does not equal causation. But the events which occur in a film, correlation and causation are totally legit because there is an intention from an artist, writer, director, creator. The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle was one of the fathers to help develop the scientific method. And that dude was such a baller, he also wrote one of the most influential books on dramatic theory called Poetics where he basically describes art as not reality, but instead art is an imitation of life. In my Prometheus film arts analysis, I show how the film's visual and auditory cues are a poetic imitation of historical and scientific theories. If you're already one of the half million people that have seen my Prometheus video and at the very end you probably thought I was contradicting myself when I tried to explain that I was basically spiritual but not religious, 
and I try to explain that to people who are deeply religious or hardcore atheists and I see their eyes roll up like whatever. Well, I have this very special video for you called Burning Man, A Romantic Analysis, which I believe clearly expresses how someone like me could not be religious, but believe there's a power greater than myself in the universe. For something completely random like Miley Cyrus partying naked, take a look at my art video of last year's Burning Man. Many journalists and critics believe Miley Cyrus has mental problems. Well, if you take her out of that judgmental media space and place her antics in an environment that encourages radical self-expression, I believe her honest expression of youthfulness becomes completely acceptable. Anyways, please subscribe. I have more videos coming up.